नमस्कार आदाब अर्ज है इन दिस अरीना वी हैव ट्रूली बिन ट्रीटेड टू अ शाही दावत इट्स बीन अ सेंशुअस जर्नी through the gullies of lahore with its famous yet quirky taka tak through the coasts of kerala and its mean curry through the green valleys of hunza with its exotic burj shapik through the wide rivers of bengal and its chingri pashto but all travelers must arrive at their final destination and we have reached ours tonight we declare the ruler of puristan Over the last few weeks we've seen some classic culinary clashes between India and Pakistan. 16 chefs from the finest restaurants of both countries arrived here with one aim to win at all costs. But after a series of khatta meetha namkeen and tikha cookoffs they have all left all that is except two. And they will now fight one last time tonight for personal honor, professional pride a national glory let's call on the finalists of foodistan our first finalist is nothing like muhammad ali except that like the legendary boxer she too floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee she flambéed and caramelized her way to victory in the semi final but tonight will she walk over hot coals is garnish ke liye bread kidhar hai garnish idhar hai na ho sien Now we're talking mm. coffee. You're <laughs> back. Please welcome chef and TV host from Karachi, the petite popular poppy, Chef Khurshid Amina Agha from Pakistan. Good to see you. Welcome as always. Thank you. If Chef Poppy's style reminds us of Muhammad Ali, then her opponent is Mike Tyson at his best. No, he doesn't bite your ear off, but his creations can keep you chewing. He is the culinary alchemist. His food knows no boundaries, and his previous six cook-offs, no one has been able to beat him. Manish is called different kettle of fish. He's sort of the Amitabh Bachchan of the Indian kitchen, but Amitabh Bachchan can do diwar, he can do zanjeer, but he can also ham it up in black. So let's see what he does today. Presenting the undefeated, the unsurpassable, the undisputed maestro, Chef Manish Mehrotra from India. Thank you. Please tell us, Papi, memorable moments from the show. Oh, uh, it's just got to be the time that I got a ten from Veer Sanghvi for my lovely savior and the peach, uh, peach murabba and the lovely cream. So that was the most memorable moment. I don't think I'll ever forget it, Ali. Yani ki flattery gets you everywhere. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Come on, it's the way to a girl's heart. And any special plans on how you're actually going to beat this man today? Um, well, apart from the fact that I'm going to rig his kitchen to explode, uh, <laughs> not. Um, no, I'm just going to try to make my dishes well. and uh, hopefully if they come together they'll prove themselves to be you know good dishes and maybe maybe you never know i might just get get ahead of the experience. the food gods might be shining maybe. on you today maybe, maybe. just uh, so that this is out in the open chef my money is on razia <laughs> chef manish you know i was going to ask you how has your journey been thus far on foodistan but i i was thinking about it and you've been winning non stop so i'm clearly it's been a, a, a pleasant one what i'm rather going to ask you is how is this affected being on the show how is that affected your you know your routine in your normal life since the time i was been on the food stand like definitely when you win you really enjoy it and uh, everybody is happy at home like uh, you are winning you are winning <laughs> and uh, that's it i would say and i have got very good uh, whether winning or losing i'll get very good memories from this entire show backstage front stage that's wonderful any message for poppy best of luck thank <laughs> you i don't think i think the nerves are so much you can't possibly say much more than that at this stage all the very best to you too thank you thank you let's give a hearty hello and a warm welcome to our judges on foodistan bollywood beauty from pakistan who revisited her roots through the food she tasted please welcome sonia jahan Resplendent in green, Sonia. Thank you. You're looking lovely. You both are looking <coughs> fantastic. Thank you. Compliments all around. <laughs> so tonight is the final. Oh, very excited, and also very nervous for both of them. And also a wee bit hungry. 
<laughs> always hungry. <laughs> always hungry. I think we, you, you've chosen your judges very well. We're all very hungry. And you've got a bonus because there's a meter on both the menus. Yes, looking forward to that. Well, for the time being, look forward to some great food. Welcome to Foodistan. Thank Please you. Make yourself at Thank home. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Sonia Jan. Our second judge. One of India's most celebrated food writers who never minced his words on the show in praise or in disapproval. Please welcome V. Sangvi. Hi, Ali. See you, V. Hi, Hi, Hi V. Good to see you. As ever, looking extremely dapper. Well, you're a fine one to talk. <laughs> I've, I've become a doula for this <laughs> final. <laughs> Thoughts on the final? Everybody goes on and on about Manish and how good he is, and of course he's good. But I think people are being a little unfair to Poppy because I really love her food. It's very innovative. There's a very delicate touch to a lot of her flavors, and I think Manish really has a battle on his hands. That's great. Let's look yes. forward to a nicely, evenly matched final. Perfect. Yes. Welcome. Nice. Hello, Sonia. And finally, the British celebrity chef who added a passionate Vilayati perspective on Desi Khana on Foodistan. Let's say hello to Marilise Parker. <laughs> Namaste. Ooh. Beautiful, you're carrying it off very well, I must say. Well, listen, it's the final of Foodistan. I thought I'd make a bit of an effort. Marilise. As a, as a complete outsider from at least the two nations that have been participating in this competition, how has your journey been and what, have you, what has your experience been on the show? I mean, it's been amazing. I think more than anything, the camaraderie, I mean, the excitement behind the scenes today is, is absolutely electric. And I think that's been a thing that has grown and grown and grown. You know, these two, there's two lots of chefs from two different countries and it's been, you know, competitive, but it's been friendly. Um, you know, lots of food's been eaten. You know, there's times where you've not liked things and there's been other times where things have blown you away. Um, so I'm really excited about tonight. All right, Marilise, before you go, don't be offensive. Who's your money on? Quick, quick, quick. I'm not saying a word. Anything, Come on! No, anything could happen. They're both fantastic chefs. I wish you both the best of luck. Thank you very Thank much, Marilise. Thank Before the chefs reveal their menus, as always, let's call on their apprentices. Harshit from IIHM Delhi. And for Poppy's side, Rishav from IIHM Kolkata. The rules of the game are slightly different tonight. To begin with, the chefs must come up with three signature dishes, which means three dishes they are best known for. This chefs tonight, we're not holding you back. You can cook whatever you want. This is show off time. There are no googlies, no dusras, nothing. As long as your menus contain one appetizer, one main course, one dessert. You get 90 minutes to cook and as always, your dishes must contain Pakistani and Indian flavors. And of course, your menus will be scored out of 10 points per judge. Thanks very much, Ira, judges, more importantly, chefs. I'm sure the rules are nice and clear. All that remains is for us to hear what it is we're going to be eating. So, for a change, we will not start with Manish Merotra, but Chef Papiyaga. All right, okay. Um, I'm going to start off with curried scallops and a crisp potato wafer, which I'm serving with a lovely curry cream, uh, keeping within subcontinental flavors. Uh, my main dish is going to be a masala chicken pocket served with a medley or a bouquet of different vegetables. Um, and I'm going to serve that with a coriander mash. Um, and I'm going to finish off with a dessert, a three-tiered plum dessert, which has a basin halwa biscuit and plums which have been worked down and some cream on top with some pista. Manish! Uh, for the starter, I'm doing crispy soft-shell crab with uh, coconut chips and uh, curry, uh, crispy curry leaves. It is an Indian masala which we are going to toss it. And uh, for the main course, uh, I'm doing uh, pan-seared fish with uh, walnut pulao and Kashmiri hak saag. And uh, for, the main, uh, for the dessert, I'm doing uh, chironji and makhane ki kheer with banana caramel. Both the menus sound divine and there's, there's no better menu right now to end Foodistan on. I think this is just a very, very exciting evening ahead. I'm really looking forward to it, especially the desserts. Well, I'm sure both chefs shall live up to all those expectations. And whichever one wins tonight, I think it's apt that I remind everyone 
what that lucky person will get. The winner of Foodistan not only wins for pride, honor and glory as my co-host Ali always declares, but also gets to write his or her own cookbook. Not only that, the person, lucky him or her, also gets to travel to any three cities in the world for a culinary holiday.